Spoiler warning for future seasons of House of the Dragon. At the end of the first season, Aemon loses control of Vagar and Lucerys pays the ultimate price for Aemon's stolen eye. In the book, Fire and Blood, Aemon is able to find Lucerys' body and removes both of his eyes, to present to his betrothed Maris Baratheon. Aemon's mother Alicent and grandfather Otto took the matter very seriously. Aemon's brother and new king, Aegon, threw a feast in his honor, so Daemon swore revenge, a son for a son, and he sent the assassins known as Blood and Cheese to kill Aegon and Helena's son, Jaehaerys. The Dance of the Dragon would claim another dragon rider at the Battle of Rook's Rest, when Aemon and Aegon killed Rhaenys and her dragon Maelys. Aemon and Vagar made it out unscathed, but Aegon was not so lucky. He was burned so badly his armor melted to his skin, so Aemon ruled on his behalf and he even wore the Conqueror's crown. At this point, Chris and Cole was handed the king. Him and Aemon marched to Harrenhal, and with their army's absence, Rhaenyra and Daemon took back King's Landing. Daemon scoured the Riverlands, challenging Aemon outright above the God's Eye. Neither them or their dragons would survive. 